Hey guys, welcome back to Purely Walking. Your girl Ellie here and I left Santo Domingo behind and I am in El Campo, the Dominican countryside. I want to show you exactly what life is like here in the more rural areas. I took a little time off of, you know, my metropolitan um, scene that I usually get in Santo Domingo and I am here breathing fresh air. This is by no means a luxury luxury outing this is your typical everyday country life so if you want to see what people and what things you can see and what people do here then just keep on watching and i hope that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more walking tours like this one So I recorded some shots of us getting there just so you can see that as soon as you leave the city you have little narrower roads and there are barely any sidewalks. The landscape definitely changes but uh, as you will see later on there are also some beautiful mountain views and some rivers and luscious green trees. You're going to see how beautiful the view gets as soon as we get further further into the rural area that we're going to. So we made a short pit stop and I just wanted to show you how different vendors sell their things right on the side of the road. This is pork rinds that they're selling, very crunchy stuff. And people just stop right here and buy them by the pound. off again and I just wanted you to observe the informality of the different little shops that are here on the side of the road. It's all very informal but oh so very Dominican. As you can probably tell by the sign, we arrived at a place called La Guava, which is a little community here. It's technically still Santo Domingo, but it's getting very, very near to the limit of the actual city. moment of silence for how beautiful this road is i mean come on look at these trees look at the sky look at the road it just gives you peace and tranquility a definitely definitely beautiful view community called La Guava that we're passing by has its own little police station. Look at it right there on the left where all those motorcycles are. Um, and okay, look at these citizens right there standing there. And then we have a pharmacy right here to your right, that blue building. So this community has a little bit of everything. They have little shops, they have little restaurants, and of course, a lot of colmados, which are also important for Dominican life. Oh, 
Many landowners, such as the one that is right here to your right, set up their properties to be recreational spaces complete with like pool and sport spaces so that then they can rent those spaces out to like groups or families or churches to hold activities such as summer camps and birthdays or family gatherings and they can make a profit out of it. This video does not do any justice to how beautiful those mountains are behind all those trees. You have to really be here in person to appreciate the view. finally reached the municipal district that we are headed to and that is Mamatingo as you can tell by this beautiful colorful sign. The place we are in is the province of Monte Plata and specifically the municipality of Mamatingo and we are in a small little a town inside this called Mirador. So let's check it out. I hope you guys enjoy it. Right before arriving to the center of the town called Mamatingo, look at these bicycle riders going uphill. Oh my goodness, I wish I had their energy. So right here to your left, you can tell that the community has erected a bust in honor of Mama Tingo herself, whose name this community has. And you may be wondering, who is Mama Tingo and why is she so important? Well, Mama Tingo is actually the nickname of this woman. Her real name is Florinda Muñoz, and she was a Dominican activist and defender of farmers' rights. Um, what had happened was in this area in the 1970s, the government of Joaquin Balaguer, which was the president back then, uh, wanted to unjustly evict the farmers from their hard work land that they had been working for uh, that last half century. So Mama Tingo stood up and was at the forefront of fighting against this. arrived at the true Dominican countryside when the road before you is no longer paved. So all I can say is bienvenidos al campo dominicano. Welcome to the Dominican countryside. In this town that I'm in, there is a little river, 
Um, there are, you know, stone paths. There's not really a lot of streets. And I'm just looking at the animals and all the wildlife and the greenery. And it's so nice. Look at the houses here, you guys. The houses here are, you know, they're wooden. They're very basic looking. But it's so refreshing to have that fresh air and that wonderful breeze that you get here in the Dominican countryside. A lot of these small little countryside wooden houses don't have kitchens in the actual house but in the back. The kitchens are little sheds that are made out of like wood and a galvanized steel material. And this is what one would look like. There are barely to none electric appliances here. This is just all basic cooking utensils. So we got on the car again so we can go check out the river. A lot of people come here to this community just to bathe in the river which is a lot of fun. Come in a group or a family and just have fun in the river. Um, we had some unexpected news when we reached the river area that I'll be showing you in the next few seconds and I'll show you what happened. So basically we got stopped by the police because they told us that they had closed down the river for bathing so we were not able to bathe no one in the community was able to bathe on those days and so what we asked them to do was let us buy anyway so we can record a little video and then come right back and they said yes so here we are we're gonna make it to the river So this is the river, uh, it's called Guanuma River and right now it has a little bit of murky waters. It was raining on these days so that's why but it usually has crystal clear water and people bathe in it because of its shallow waters and it's very peaceful to be here. Now that little road that you saw right across the river goes to another community that has barely any electricity. Um, very um, low income houses, but um, just so you know, there is a whole community beyond this river.
so refreshing to just be out here outside the metropolitan areas outside of all the noise and traffic jams And on this note, I'm going to end this video here. I really hope you enjoyed it. So hit that like button if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This is me signing out. And I'll definitely see you in my next one. Bye.